Alright, right, self you. There we go. Okay, so yeah, that's lots of green bars. Hi, my name is Teacher Joko, and I am in my Taco Cat shirt, but here to talk about a um, uh, a common problem that people have when they uh, read the questions in IELTS writing task number two and that they often fail to analyze the question sufficiently to identify major important key elements major important key elements got it <laughs> key elements of the uh question and then that reflects directly in their task response so are you in tune with the question who are we talking about when where how much not so much why very often, but uh, what are we talking about? Can you can't respond to an essay prompt without understanding the question, the situation that's presented. So to point this to 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 drive this point home, what I've decided to do is just pick some random questions before we get into the essay of review, and just throw them out there and um, see what we can how we would analyze them together okay so to do that we're going to use the random task to essay question picker which you can find at my blog ielts temple ielts temple.blogspot.com So here is a question that we came up with. Many people today are choosing to stay in rented apartments rather than hotels when they travel. What led to this change? What problems could it cause the travel industry? This is a situational essay. Okay, um, it is a actually there's a two question two part. Usually a situational essay will have a what are the solutions? We don't have that here. Callan constant. Who we're talking about travelers and the travel industry. The travel industry is different from travelers. That will come up in our essay later. When? It says right there. Today. Where? Not specified. So it can be all over the world. Why? Well, well, that's the first question. If I was to write this essay, I might say something like, well, it's a result of the, uh, a reaction to price gouging and overpriced everything in hotels. What problems? Disruption. Okay, we're not answering the question. We're identifying the main, um, the, the, what are the answers to our WH questions here? And here with this one, who? Travelers and travel industry. These are mentioned in the question and they're different entities. Different. You'll see what I mean later. Some people, there's a, there's a, I've discussed both views. Some people prefer to spend their lives doing the same things. Others, however, prefer to take, now note, difference in the grammar of the question will lead to some changes in how you address the tense who are we talking about people when it is not specified but the use of the present simple tense the prefer 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 again um okay uh, it's we use the we use the present tense to talk about things that are always true so it's timeless if you say, nowadays, a lot more people are deciding to do this than that, you are misreading the question. And here is our actual question for today. So um, it's from a, a, a regular IELTS book. I know it. Some uh, have a read there. Okay. Well, let's ask our WH questions. First of all, who? And this is, um, Alina, where you make your big mistake. Because there are two different groups of people in this question and you have lumped them all together into one 
musicians and the music industry are not the same thing. In fact, they're often at odds with one another. Musicians, I don't have to explain that, they're you know, singers and songwriters and such. The music industry are the music is the business of music. It is the publishers, the people who make the real money or did. And they are not the same group. And you can't treat them the same way. No, I didn't know that. You might be asking yourself, how am I supposed to know the ins and outs of the music industry? That's not my area. Because it actually says it in the question. Okay? Our negative effect on the music industry. It says it right there. Others feel that they have little or no impact on artists. See, people fall and they think that the discuss both views questions are always two sides of the same coin, or they're opposites of one another, or that they're sides in, a, in opposition. They're not. They're views, and they're not even by the same group of people here. I put this second paragraph, the second sentence in here, because that is in every question. Give reasons for your answers and include any relative examples from your own knowledge or experience. So here's what she wrote in the long form. Let's look at it one by one. I'm going to turn down the music. Okay, yellow is lexical resources. Blue is cohesion and coherence. Red is, uh, or pink is um, task response. And green is grammar. Excuse me. Oh. Many talented artists are struggling to meet their ends in this era. What does that have to do with the question at hand? You never address this again. It's just this strange sentence put at the beginning of the um, essay. Now, supposedly, in the, when we find sentences like this, they're meant to introduce the topic. But that's not the topic. It's about... <laughs> And they've always struggled to not meet their ends. Believe me, they don't have any problem meeting their ends. It's making ends meet. That's very different. If you meet your end, you die. Making ends meet means having enough money to live on. Okay, and then we get into your sort of robotic, while others, while many individuals argue, some people think, Many individuals argue, okay, uh, seen it done a thousand times, that downloading pirated copies of free music. Now, it's not pirated if it's free. It's only if you have to pay for it and then you download it, then it's pirated. So it's not free music. If it's free music, we wouldn't be having this talk. So it actually makes a difference. Is impacting musicians negatively. So you got it backwards. It says it's having a negative effect on the music industry, which is not musicians. Musicians are part of it, but it's not who it's impacting. Others think it has no notable effect on them. Now, careful with your pronouns. Them could be the others. In my opinion, it, what is it? It creates a major problems, plural, singular, for music, in, for the music industry you're repeating yourself oh no actually you didn't say that earlier but it's from the from the um from the in, uh, question because they who are they are unable to generate revenue they deserve they are unable to generate the revenue that they deserve well not that generate the revenue they deserve hmm it's, so here's the, the big problem is is that you've misidentified who are we talking about and we're not talking about in this era either, by the way. An era is a big period of time. It's nowadays. Okay. Now you repeat paraphrasing the question again. Several people believe. Several people think. Several is not the same as some. Okay? Several means I can count them. Okay. How many you got? Several. Okay. Several would be, you know, like 20 <laughs> or 10. So we're talking of millions of people, and that's not several. The illegal downloads, plural, plural, downloads, plural, does to create any hindrance on artists. You need a 
apostrophe there for possession, hindrance on an artist's life. Because they are earning money, who are they? Artists from different company sponsorships. What about the struggling ones? It makes no difference on their life, lives. See now your hindrance on artist's life, difference on their life. You're repeating the word life there. Musicians in the UK have been reported to have multiple income streams. What? And the major chunk of money they earn comes from brand endorsements. I think you're thinking of football players. That doesn't happen with musicians. Now, again, with IELTS, it doesn't matter if you're wrong. I mean, that's entirely not true, but that's okay if you can support it. But you don't support it. There's no examples. I mean, that is your example, I guess, of what you were saying before, which is um, also inaccurate. Therefore, people think that they aren't hindered because they have money coming in from other places. Therefore, people think that they have they aren't hurt because they have money coming in from other places. You can't say therefore and then just repeat the same thing. And um, okay, again, you don't need to be a music expert, but. I just have to mention that the, the argument right now that uh, illegal downloads aren't hurting artists is that artists make significant money from performing music, concerts. That's where they make their money, not brand, not corporate sponsorships. Okay, body paragraph number one. Even though singers, is it just singers now? Have other ways to earn money, like singing. <laughs> I believe it is still severely damaging the music industry. While there's another while, there is no denying in the fact, just no denying the fact, only in that different avenues are available for music industries to generate revenue. You're repeating yourself again and again. Other ways to earn money. There are different avenues to uh, for them to generate revenue. It is necessary. Is that how you spell necessary? Uh, to understand that their expenses are unlimited. What? And it takes hundreds of dollars to produce a single song. Well, that's not so bad. Hundreds of dollars. Yeah, you know, hundreds of dollars. That's, you know, the IELTS test takes hundreds of dollars. So, so okay, so not very expensive. We only, only recognize a known artist's face but at the back end of the artist, the back, the artist's back end, several people work hard to produce it. What is it? And then you don't properly space your punctuation. This is important because um, what happens when you do that, when you put period and then no space, is that the computer reading your answer is gonna say, oh, that's all one. There's no. There's no new sentence there, and it reads it all as one long sentence. For instance, Taylor Swift's apostrophe s new released album, new released album, costed no, cost one hundred million dollar. What? I thought it was hundreds of dollars. Okay, so if it's a hundred million dollars. So that, of course, a million is a thousand thousand. Well, let's see, it would be a thousand times, maybe a hundred thousand songs. Yeah. Anyway, you get your numbers all mixed up here and your example is whack. Made a problem for her to pay her employees. Poor Taylor and her employees. What employees? I'm sure she has a personal assistant and a couple of folks to help, help out, but um, no album costs a hundred million dollars to make. And no song costs the hundreds of uh, this is why it is imperative for the public like Taylor Swift. We really have to worry about her. In conclusion, although because of the glamorous lives of artists, now this is the first you have brought up glamorous lives of artists. Some people think that free music is not affecting artists. The music industry is what we're talking about. I firmly believe that Eagle Downs have been negatively impacting music. And then Every penny is important for them because several livelihoods are dependent on it. Okay, you kind of come back to that Taylor Swift thing there at the end. That's good. But what happened to 
the 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 struggling artists who are striving to um, make ends meet or to to meet their ends missing, and so you see how important it is to identify that the music industry and artists are different things, not just for your general knowledge of how the world works, but identifying key elements of the IELTS test and responding to them appropriately. You really don't want to see this next part. But it's my first chance to have a look at the new band descriptors in a, in a response here. And um, I would have to say that in terms of task response, there's some main ideas are put forward, but they are limited and are not sufficiently developed. Or there may be irrelevant detail, like Taylor Swift and $100 million. And, the, and it's not, you just say, and the first point that um, that uh, there's different sources. Therefore, there are different sources. And so therefore, they have different sources of income. There's repetition throughout. So I'm afraid there's going to be all five in TR. Now, the other words are all in the, the, the six range. So um, nothing more than a six with this one, which is not what people want to hear. <laughs> <laughs>